Hi, it's me again, and just a quick one. This is not going to be one of my banging on for ages one. I've just finished making a video about a story here. Uh, BBC TV licensing warns UK households we can enter without permission. I've just finished doing that, fiddling about with it, but I've stumbled across this headline, and I want to talk about it quick because I mentioned how much absolute toss was in that story, and that was in Birmingham Live. This one's in Grimsby Live. BBC TV licensed detective vans are out on the streets and could fine households £1,520. They're not. They never were. They've got vans, as this picture here says, and I've got loads of old pictures of them as well. It says mobile detection unit, TV license. They park them at the end of the street so people panic. They can't detect shit. Imagine how many ways there are to receive TV. Just on your TV alone, broadcast TV, Sky, multiple cable services, free sat. You could stream from an infinite amount of places you could stream broadcast TV from there. How is it possible for them to detect that? It's not. This is propaganda into scaring you into paying for something you might not need. Like the other story I just did, which may or may not be on a channel by the time you watch this. That was in Birmingham Live. This is in Grimsby Live. These stories are put out by PR agencies that are on multi-million pound contracts with the BBC who have friends in all the local papers and some nationals and they get this shite published. How am I going to compete with that? Then? How's my pokey little YouTube channel going to compete with that? I mean, half a million people cancelled last year, so we had, we had quite a good victory. Let's, there's not much wording in this. Let's, let's go through it, see if... Uh, God, it's ridiculous though, isn't it? Where are we? TV viewers have been put on alert as a fleet of TV detector vans has hit the streets, threatening fines of up to £1,520 for non-compliance. At this point, I should say, there has been many prosecutions for TV license offences in the courts over the years. Sadly, how many of those prosecutions do you think came about with evidence that was given via a TV detector mobile unit van thing. I'll wait. None. None. Not one. They have never, ever prosecuted anybody for a TV license offence with evidence from a TV detector van. They don't exist. They never do. I've got a couple of videos on them, actually, where um, I've got some rare footage of inside them and stuff like that, and it's one of the funniest things I've ever seen. It's absolute shite. Have a look on, on my channel, click my name and search Detective Van, you'll find it. The BBC is set to broadcast 500 hours of live Olympic action across two channels and the Discovery Plus app will provide an additional... Now, this is an interesting one, isn't it? Fi you pay your licence fee, £169.50 a year, to our national... The pride of Britain! The national broadcaster. To watch things like the Olympics, because they their coverage should be better than anybody's. 500 hours sounds like a lot, until you see that Discovery Plus for $3.99 a month has 3,800 hours of coverage. What is it that you're paying the license fee for again? Re remind me. The TV license authority... Oh, hang on, before I read... If you pay the $3.99 a month to Discovery Plus to watch what you should be able to get for free on the BBC, you still have to have a license fee in order to watch it because it's being broadcast live. Fucking BBC. Anyway, the TV license authority operating under BBC's commission has issued a stark warning that it's detector vans are prime to hand out £1,000 penalties. Well, the detector vans cannot hand out penalties. They have to go to court. A detective van won't knock on your door and say, you was watching the Olympics, here's a £1,000 fine, you don't have a TV licence. How do they get this propaganda published? When I can't get any, any proper advice published. I've reached out to every paper in the country. Not one of them wants to publish any of the press releases I put out about FOI requests or anything I find out about the BBC. But this shit straight in and it's all lies it's all absolute nonsense the tv license body has cautioned we have a database of approximately 31 million licensed and unlicensed addresses 
This tells us if your address has a TV license. We have a database of 31 million licensed and unlicensed addresses. So an A to Z, then, of every address in the country. How is this published? All our visiting visiting officers have access to this data. So what? This means they can check if you have a license or not. Again, so what? If you're not watching a recording that has been broadcast or accessing BBC iPlay, you don't require one and you shouldn't talk to these people. We have a fleet of detector vans that can detect the use of TV receiving equipment at specifically targeted addresses within minutes. Do I have to say it again? They fucking well can't do that. What the hell? Who sucked off somebody at Grimsby Live to get this published? Yeah, so I didn't want to bang on too long with that one. So I'll leave you there. Let me know what you think about it down in the comments below. I make loads of press releases. When I have a story that I've come up with or I've done FOIs or new information I've found out, things like that, I do a press release and I send it round. I've got a little email list and I send it round to all the nationals and all the local newspapers. Never once, never once have I had anything published or been asked to respond to something. I am in this fight. Some of those half a million licenses a year, a few of them, hopefully, I would have helped get cancelled. And yet, people from other organisations who are claimed to be anti-BBC and anti-TV licenses, they're all over the press. All over the press. And they do literally nothing apart from ask you for donations, and no one knows where those donations go. When was the last time I asked you for any money to help in this fight? I spent fortunes of my own money in this fight. You know, it's a, it's a weird one, isn't it? Is it just because I've got some integrity and I can't be bought? Or I tell the truth? Or am I just being big-headed again? But it is weird, isn't it? I don't know. Like I said, let me know what you think about all of this down in the comments below. Why you're down there, leaving your comment if you want to. I'll leave this link to this in the description go and have a look if you want and if you feel like contacting grimsby live or what was the other one birmingham live from the other story please do keep it nice just say why are you publishing these lies would be nice this was alex evans and laura cross whoever whoever they are. i don't know hit the buttons as well way down there leaving your comments hit the subscribe button if you can i'm so close to a hundred thousand and uh, if you do all that, hopefully I'll see you in another video again soon, won't I? Ta-da.